nature of Diagnosis by interrogation. Introduction. Two, three, three. We're reading a comprehensive guide. Chinese medicine. It's from uh, my home. It's from home library. There you see it's written in uh, Scottish Scotland land, written in uh, English Institute with calligraphied and special uh, print notes. And it's a very um, good and thorough book for medical uh, experiments, knowledge sharing. It's written for professionals. Uh, but perhaps someone will uh, be interested also in this introductory. I am Victoria. So uh, about this method. Diagnosis. Um, this part deals with the diagnostic method based on asking. This is essential art. Uh, not only because we need to elicit information from the patient, but also because the way the patient talks during the interrogation is in itself a very important diagnostic sign reflecting the underlying physical, emotional and mental condition of the patient. Moreover, it is through the interrogation process that we interact with the patient. Therefore, the skill, tact, and compassion with which we conduct the interrogation has a profound influence on the medical therapeutic results themselves. So this is about the nature of uh, diagnosis by interrogation and symptoms in Chinese medicine. Something that was written uh, on Elsevier, Churchill uh, Livingston, uh, about that uh, art book of, uh, that made by acupuncturists and medical herbalists from UK. Uh, Giovanni The author draws on his many years of meticulous clinical observation and long and thorough study of the classics to provide a series of profound insights into human pathology and differential diagnosis that are invaluable to the modern practitioner of Chinese medicine. Uh, Jeremy Ross, Doctor of Acupuncture, BSc, Bachelor of Science, uh, and numerous accolades. I'm glad that uh, Harvard Medical School and uh, high prestigious author of uh, prestigious journal of Chinese medicine, Deadman editor has written, um, also in the memory. Uh, well, this book is a, it's an excellent guide for me. Also, it chose uh, to serve me. I chose the, I chose this book uh, from uh, England, Scotland uh, to study uh, my clinical research. Um, guide and work with patients. I uh, came from um, 
uh, came from academic background uh, with um, knowledge from um, social scientists and researchers and uh, scholars and writers. Uh, so um, uh, my uh, grandparents uh, uh, that came from medical uh, colleges and institutes came from medicine and uh, acupuncture. Uh, so I was raised uh, by acupuncturists and uh, medicinal practitioner and doctor and uh, PG uh, since the day I was born, birth. And this is very uh, exciting collaboration. So uh, it's a great book. I do recommend. Uh, do place attention that it's for um, medical students, um, but also to um, to those who continue uh, curiosities uh, to be curious about national uh, disease and um, national health issues as well, and for research purposes. Uh, so this is uh, good for excellent knowledge and uh, uh, literature. Uh, authors uh, who can be enriched by this book, which is excellent, it's very uh, mean and, uh, true uh, and loyal to um, a very good traditions. Uh, thank you for listening. Stock